The Rock is back. He's come to the aid of his family, who was being taken out by another member of the family, the tribal chief Roman Reigns. And the Rock has three very famous words for Roman Reigns. Just bring it. Later that night, the Men's Royal Rumble is taking place. We are down to the final three. It's Cody Rhodes, Drew McIntyre, and Seth Rollins. Three men itching to get a crack at Reigns. McIntyre is the first to go though. Rhodes manages to eliminate him narrowly. It's down to Rollins and Rhodes. Rhodes goes for it. He runs at Rollins, but no. Rollins counters and Rhodes goes flying over the top rope. Seth Rollins has won the Royal Rumble and now he's also on a collision course with the one and only Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns. We are on the SmackDown after the Royal Rumble and Paul Heyman is making one last attempt to bring the bloodline back together. But before he can finish his thought, Roman Reigns comes steaming down the ramp. Heyman is terrified. He immediately exits the ring and Reigns says, the bloodline is dead, Paul. So you need to make a choice. You're either with me or against me. Reigns then stares down the hard cam and he has a simple message. There is no more blood pumping through the veins of the bloodline, but there sure as hell is blood pumping through my veins. You're either with me or against me. Rock, Seth, Jay, Jimmy, Solo, whoever it is, you come for the tribal chief at your own peril. It's then from behind, Reigns gets assaulted by the name he just uttered. It's Solo Sokoa. Reigns is being absolutely lit up by his cousin. But Reigns though, gets on top. He downs Sokoa, but as expected, here come his brothers, Jimmy and Jay. They down Reigns, and each brother takes turns hitting their signature splash. Reigns is left in a heap. He made a threat, but now his past is starting to haunt him. Up on the ramp, we see Seth Rollins. He knows that he won't have to do much of the heavy lifting, considering Roman Reigns has so many enemies. <laughs> and the next week on SmackDown, we're set to hear from another one of those enemies, the great one, The Rock. He's here live via satellite from a movie set. He got in the face of Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble, but as far as we know, that's all it was. In the middle of The Rock's interview, we see Roman Reigns dragging a bloody Jimmy Uso to the ring. The Rock, who is able to see the live feed of the arena, begins to berate Reigns, saying that Reigns is being disrespectful to the Anuai name. He's telling him to stop whatever he has planned, but Reigns is pissed. He's beating the hell out of Jimmy Uso. But where are his brothers? It's then we see a shot from backstage. Jay is down. We get another shot, and it's Solo Sokoa who is down and bloodied as well. Reigns has run through everyone, and The Rock is yelling helplessly from a screen. Reigns is now choking the life out of Jimmy Uso. And Paul Heyman rushes down to ringside and is begging Reigns to let go. It's then that Seth Rollins' music hits. He runs down to ringside and Reigns lets go of a lifeless Jimmy Uso. He throws him to the side just like he did his father at the Royal Rumble. Rollins hits the ring and gets speared immediately. Reigns is on a tear, all while The Rock looks on helplessly. Reigns chokes the life out of Rollins as well. He throws him to the side. Reigns has gone to another place. He's defending his territory with his life, and he's as dangerous as ever. Heyman walks away gingerly. He knows this is a lost cause. The Rock looks on. Reigns has seemingly decimated all of his enemies. With Reigns going to a whole other level, The Rock is now on high alert. He tweets during the week that he feels like Reigns has lost sight of what really brought him to the dance and that is a rich family history, and that that history 
is the reason he is anyone at all in the business. What he also says is that he is going to be at the next pay-per-view, the Elimination Chamber. And we are on SmackDown that same week, and Rawlins is livid. He's storming around backstage looking for Roman Reigns. He runs into Solo Sokoa, however, who is also there looking for the same man. Sokoa explains that his brothers Jimmy and Jay are out injured indefinitely, and he's there against doctor's orders. Rawlins suggests that perhaps they work together. He says that Dwayne is too busy in Hollywood to help us out. It's just the two of us. Sokoa just straight up says no. He says, I don't work with anyone that isn't my brothers. Rawlins says, well, maybe if you're not working with me, you're against me. Does that sound familiar to you? Later that night, Sokoa is making his way out to the ring. He wants to say something to Roman Reigns to try and coax him out to fight. But instead of having to say anything, Reigns jumps him from behind. But it's almost as if Sokoa knew this would happen. He was anticipating it. He and Reigns engage in a wild brawl. Reigns locks in the guillotine. And as Sokoa is showing signs of going out, we see Seth Rollins looking on from the entranceway. He's not going to come to the aid of Solo Sokoa because Sokoa didn't want to work with him. But somehow, someway, Sokoa manages to fight out. He shows grit and determination and he nails Reigns with a super kick. Sokoa says to a down Reigns, I want another shot. I want you to acknowledge me, Roman. And as the dust settles, we see Rawlins still looking on again from the ramp. He's biding his time, but he looks a little bit concerned. It's the SmackDown before Elimination Chamber and Sokoa is in a meeting with Adam Pearce. Pearce says he's been looking for an opponent for Reigns to defend against the Elimination Chamber and he doesn't see anyone better or more qualified than Solo. But it's then that Seth Rollins interjects. He says, whoa, 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 really? Uh, did Solo outlast 29 other men and win the Royal Rumble? I don't think so. Pierce then tells Rollins that, hey, that's okay. You can take your shot at Elimination Chamber if you want, but you'll have to forego your WrestleMania match. And Rollins laughs, he says, no way. WrestleMania is the only stage fit for a god like me. Solo can have his little match on his little premium live event. I'll take the big stage as usual. Oh, and should you win Solo? I guess it's you that I'll destroy and not your cousin, but it's all the same to me. Good luck. So we are deep in the main event of the Elimination Chamber. Solo has learned from his mistakes at the Royal Rumble, and he's actually in control. For now. Reigns is down. But it's then we see Paul Heyman re-emerge. He's been MIA for weeks. He's looking disheveled. He saunters to ringside. And while Solo is looking at Heyman confused, he gets thrown out of the ring by Roman Reigns. Reigns is then being stopped from leaving the ring by the referee. Solo gets to his feet and boom! Heyman nails a low blow. Heyman looks down at Sokoa and he says, I always stood behind him. Not like you and your ungrateful family. Reigns throws Sokoa back in the ring and nails him with a spear. Once again, Reigns retains. Sokoa falls again. Heyman is the culprit. He has stuck around. He's stayed loyal, whether we like it or not. After the match, Reigns is in the ring with Heyman, and they're both looking pretty smug. Until... Just like the Royal Rumble, The Rock is here to get in the face of Roman Reigns. Reigns runs at The Rock. He's furious, but he gets caught with a rock bottom. Reigns is dispatched by the Great One, who then turns his attention to Paul Heyman. And he says he's written a lot of checks his ass can't cash. Well, now it's time to pay the piper. He's got me 
and Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. Heyman is shocked. The Rock and Seth Rollins at WrestleMania? Heyman is standing there left wondering what that even means. Is it a triple threat? Is it two singles matches? Is it for the championship? We're now officially on the road to WrestleMania Hollywood. The next week on SmackDown, we open the show with a bombshell. The Rock is here to tell the world exactly what's going on. The Rock says that one more time, the Great One is going to be main eventing WrestleMania. Burn it down! Seth Rollins is out here now and he doesn't seem happy. He says, whoa, 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 Rocky, hold on. Did you say you will be main eventing WrestleMania against Roman Reigns? Maybe I need my hearing checked. It sounded like that's what you said. Did you win the Royal Rumble? Because I know I did, and that means I main event WrestleMania. It's then we hear a load of commotion. It's Paul Heyman and Adam Pearce in a fierce debate. Rollins and The Rock can see it from inside the arena on the Tron. Heyman is pleading with Pierce and telling him that a triple threat match is completely unreasonable. Roman Reigns has had this happen to him once before and we won't allow it to happen again. Pierce cuts him off and says, Paul, can you shut up? You haven't given me a chance to explain what is actually going on. Roman isn't in a triple threat match. And Paul seems very confused. He says, he's, he's not? Pierce replies, no, Paul, he's not. He's in two singles matches, night one and night two. The crowd in the arena erupts. What on earth is going on? Reigns will be pulling double duty over both nights. This is insane. Paul Heyman says very gingerly, but how? Pierce says, how? Well, I'm going to leave that for The Rock to explain. And The Rock takes over and he says, that's right, Paul. Roman has written so many checks that his ass can't cash. So he's got Seth in the main event of night two for the championship. And he's got the great one, The Rock, in the main event of night one. You see, the championship isn't what The Rock is back for. The Rock is back for family. I'm back to put Roman in his place. Seth can handle the rest at WrestleMania. And the Roman Empire will fall. It's the final SmackDown before WrestleMania Hollywood. It's the end of the show. He's out there alone. No more bloodline backing him. Not even Paul Heyman. And he says, this weekend, I do what no one in the history of this industry has ever done. I win back-to-back -back main events at WrestleMania. I solidify my legacy. And finally, you will all truly acknowledge me. It's then that Rollins jumps the barricade. He's trying to soften up Roman Reigns. But Reigns counters Rollins and then he nails him with a spear. Rollins is in deep, deep trouble. And then, from the back, here comes The Rock. The Rock looks for a rock bottom, but he counters. Reigns gets out, and then he nails him with a spear. Unbelievable. Reigns has downed Rollins, and now he has downed The Rock. Could this possibly be a huge sign of what's to come? It's deep into the non-title family grudge match. It's personal, and The Rock has requested that no one show up. This is between he and Roman. He wants to settle it one-on-one. -on -one. Roman is fired up, he's fresh, and he's taking it to The Rock, who is clearly struggling with the pace that Roman is setting. The Rock has been out of the ring for years, and it is really showing. Roman is looking down at him, he says, are you ready? to acknowledge me? Are you ready to acknowledge your tribal chief? 
Reigns bends down to pick up The Rock to finish him off, but he catches a knee. Reigns is stunned. The Rock grabs him. It's a rock bottom. Reigns is in trouble, and The Rock is setting up for the people's elbow. The Rock doesn't notice, though. Reigns is back up, and as The Rock bounces off the ropes, he gets blasted with a Superman punch, and Reigns goes to the corner. He's poised. Before he runs at The Rock, he says two words. Acknowledge me. Boom! He nails The Rock with a spear. Reigns has done it. One down. He's won the first of his two WrestleMania main events. History beckons. He is standing over The Rock and he yells, I said, acknowledge me. It's the main event of night two. Roman Reigns went through a war the night before in the family grudge match against The Rock, but now it's time for him to defend the gold. He's waiting on Rawlins, who for some reason is taking his sweet time. The mind games continue. Reigns is looking around, and then we hear it. Sierra Hotel, India, Echo, Lima, Delta, Shield. The very thing that Rawlins broke with his bare hands. He's brought it back to break Reigns. But it's then, while Reigns has his back turned, that Rawlins blasts him with a chair, just like when he broke up the shield. Unbelievable. The match hasn't even started yet, and Rawlins has blasted Reigns. Reigns struggles to his feet, and then the bell rings, and Rawlins rushes him. Rawlins spends large portions of the match in control. A far cry from what we've seen in the past from Roman Reigns matches, even as early as the night before. But Reigns is strong. He is determined. He fights back and just when he thinks he's in control, it's another ghost from his past. Well, several. It's the former bloodline on the ramp. Just like they did for Reigns recently, but only out the front, it's not Heyman. It's Rikishi. This is a family united. Heyman notices first. He walks up the ramp to confront them. He is livid. Heyman is trash talking right in Rikishi's face. And he will not stop until And Reigns then catches the family at the top of the ramp. He looks up towards them and he says, You're back for more? I'll smash all of you right now, again! They don't say a word. They just look on stoically. And while Reigns has been distracted, Rollins has snuck into the ring. Reigns slides into the ring, but as he does, boom! He's nailed with a curb stomp. Rollins took his chance, but he's not leaving anything to chance. He lines him up, and he nails another. All while the family watches on. They're here to witness history, all right. They're here to see this historic reign end. Reigns is defeated. The former bloodline is there to witness it. Rawlins has broken the shield that Roman built and the Roman Empire has fallen.